Hi all, this is Terhi Koskinen. I'm super happy to be guest designer for Spellbinders and Jane Davenport. They have new release with lots of colorful and really inspiring products and I'm really excited to play with them. First here I want to show you what I got. I got three sets of different kind of dyes. These are so beautiful and I especially adore these feather ones. These are easy to use and I'm going to use them in this project I'm doing today. Uh, there was also a couple of stencils. I like the faces and blooms and all the stuff even though these are not like my usual style but definitely something I'm going to add to my upcoming projects as these are so beautiful. Uh, there was also um, washi tape sheets. These are sized like a4 office paper, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but anyway, these are washi tape sheets and I really love them. You can die cut them, you can just cut them as they are or use them as they are as a background or something and um, it's super easy to paint over or use some kind of stamps to stamp over or anything. It's really good material and thick washi tape. So I really like them. And I really like the color scheme of these. So bright and beautiful colors and yeah. I also got this lovely die cutting machine, which is beautiful and super handy to use as it's easy to carry on. Of course, the plates, plates um, to the machine and two packages of these alcohol markers. I love that they have these color seeds um, inside the package and they are kind of triangle shaped that they are not going to roll over to your table and there, there's this small tip and there's bigger tip and so it's easy to color. Um, what I'm going to do first is that I'm, I have this quite glossy white paper cardstock, I don't know, and I just want to add some color on top of it just to try out these new markers I have because I'm not that talented drawer and I would love to use them, you know, make some kind of beautiful brush lettering and draw lots of magical things, but I'm not that good. So I, what I want to do here is just make some kind of uh, friendship <laughs> with these with these lovely markers so that I can use them on the background of my scrapbook layout I'm going to do today. And as these are alcohol markers, you can see some details now, especially on the darkest colors, that there are beautiful details that these colors are going to give for us. And I love the way that these are blending together with different colors and well, I really like these. I haven't used this kind of markers before, so it's all new for me. Um, now I took a um, really basic white cardstock and this is really high speed video because it, it lasts like 10 minutes or 15 minutes if I would put them in, in slower phase. But what I want to do is to just draw some flowers. As I said, I'm not that talented as I would love to be, but I'm practicing all the time. So I'm just sketching up some flowers and then I'm going to color them and this will be the background of my scrapbook layout. This is the first background that I have drawn by myself, so I'm really proud of myself. Even though it's not perfect, but it's good enough. It's good enough to be the first trial so I'm really pleased with it and now you can see that I colored it and the first paper I, I um, colored with the markers is this what I'm going to cut and I just want to use this sheet because it repeats the same colors that are on the background of the layout and I want to have these beautiful feathers on my layout little hint for myself would you please 
turn the machine if you are going to cut something. Yeah, but anyway, I'm just adding a couple of um, different colored feathers and then I'm going to add them onto my layout. The layout is super simple. As you saw, I draw something on the background. There was nothing uh, before that. It was just a white cardstock, nothing like gesso or nothing to prepare the paper. It was just the paper. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to layer up some washi tapes and some papers and that's it. Nothing more. Um, it's just uh, lots of colors that I'm going to use today that will make the effect of lots of layers and lots of going on the, on the paper, but actually it's just a drawn back background and the, some um, patterned papers or washi tape sheets. Um, as I said, I really love the colors here on these washi sheets. So I will pick one of each and then adhere a piece of it to, to this white cardstock to make it a little thicker. It's easier to use it when it's a bit thicker, especially to this um, to use it like I'm going to use it here on this layout. So I just added a piece of here and then I'm going to cut it small pieces like one inch, one and a half inch, little pieces, not not too big, not two by two, one by one or one and a half by one and a half and that's it. I'm going to do uh, repeat the same process to the other washi tape sheets, not like all of them but a little piece of each because I really like the colors. And then I'm going to do some kind of um, collage background thing um, and adhere all these washi sheets pieces with um, 3D foam because I really want to get them bob up so that's why I'm going to use the 3D foam. I'm also going to play with this washi sheet things uh, just like I would play with patterned paper and as you saw I cut out a, like a little frame for the photograph that I'm going to um, adhere the photograph on top of the sheet and actually the washi sheet looks like patterned paper now. Uh, I'm going to repeat the same patterned paper trick um, with these other sheets and make a little paper cluster by using them and I will also mix up some of my uh, patterned papers from my stash because I want to have something smoother, something more calm as these are really really busy and rich colored and so I want to have something to calm it all down. But this piece what I now used was really colorful with lots of different colors so that's why I wanted to um, cut it to a small small pieces even though I first thought it would be great as a patterned paper but I'm going to use this a little smoother one as my little papers on the paper cluster so I'm just adding some here and then I'm going to use a stapler to staple it all together and that's it, super easy. Um, I'm going to try to add some kind of fun design for these um, pieces and for the lovely lovely uh, feathers. Here I'm going to use this wooden pattern of papers. It's much calmer than the other ones here I'm going to use and also it needs some butterflies. It's so colorful and beautiful that it has to have some butterflies because I always love some butterflies. But if you follow me in Instagram or somewhere else, you probably knew that already because I'm always adding butterflies. Anyway, uh, I also added the golden frame or actually part of the frame because it will give some kind of glitter and more texture for the page. And 
as I said, even though this looks really busy right now, it looks really messy right now, it will be quite flat layout. There's only the background and the lovely washi, washi sheets and some some layers underneath the photograph and then the feathers. So that's why I'm going to add some some kind of um, additional elements and some some 3D foam here and there to make it more more dimensional and it will look good. I also added uh, what you don't see here on this video when I was finished with this layout. I decided that I need to do something black for the layout as here in this photograph it's black and white and there's kind of quite dark black in one of one um, point in this photograph so I really wanted to add something black on the background too and that's why I draw fine fine black black um, lines all over the flowers so if you take a really close look to the close-up photos I have in the end of this video you can see them and I think it made a really good effect for the whole layout. It kind of um, gave some kind of rhythm to it and it's much much more good right now. But anyway, what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to add here these paper layers and the frame thing and um, then I'm going to add all these tiny washi sheet pieces with 3D foam and after that I'm going to glue down the beautiful feathers and when it's all adhere, it's all on the background then I will cover up my photograph and add a little little flicks of mists or watercolors you can use always watercolors but I think my mists are just next to my hand so it's easy to take them and use them but what I really want to do is have some kind of beautiful flowing design for the feathers and I think I manage it quite well. So it's all about the little things, right? I also thought about the title. First I thought that I will uh, die cut some kind of word out of the washi tape sheets but then I figured out that it needs that black and now that I'm adding the black title, it definitely needs some black to the background. But as I said, I added that with the black fine marker and that's it. So now I'm just adding some flicks of mists and adding the finishing touches and that's it. Super easy and quick layout to do, even though it looks like super tricky. Um, next time I hope that I will be more careful with the flowers and as I said it needs a lot of practicing to become good so I think I'm, I'm super happy that I took this first step and just tried it. So why don't you try it too and I'm really grateful for Spellbinders to ask me to guest design. I hope they liked my work and I hope you are inspired by it right now. Thank you for watching and thank you Spellbinders for having me. We will see you again soon. Bye!